Hello YouTube. Welcome to this edition of EVL Gaming Tutorials. Yeah, I guess I just named it that. There's no actually there's no actual EVL gaming tutorial. But uh this is a tutorial for the EVL Gaming Creative Minecraft server. One of the recent changes we've done is we have implemented a system called residences. Um, I guess the only real benefit of residences so far is keeping the noobs out of the server because there's a lot of people who are quite upset about uh, the addition of that plugin. Uh, basically it means that you can't build outside of um, of a residence and it has to be your residence or you gotta have permissions from that user. So let me talk about how this is gonna work. You need to give yourself a wooden axe, so you can type slash i wooden axe, and you'll get a wooden axe. Or you can use slash i 271. So what the first thing you gotta do is select two points. Your residence is an area. It is your plot of land, and you can do just about whatever you want with it. Um, and you can allow anyone to build on it, you can restrict everyone to build on it, so only you can build on it. You can enable PvP. You can do all kinds of fun stuff. So the first thing I gotta do is I gotta select the primary selection point. So this is going to create one giant square. So I'm gonna put the other point somewhere over there. The edge of the square is gonna go kinda like this if you follow my cursor. So I've got that selected, and now I'm gonna use my compass to quickly jump over to this end look at Mr. KS he thinks he's so cool he doesn't understand how to make a residence cuz he's a noob but after he watches this video he's gonna think about how stupid he was cuz this really is easy okay so now I'm over here on this edge to select my second point I have to right click I don't left click. If I left click it makes my first point, but if I right click it makes the second selection point. Now one issue is <clears throat> right now I've got just the top area of the selected. I don't have these blocks down here selected. I don't have anything underneath there selected. So there's a simple command that lets you select everything in the area in the square top to bottom. Uh, if you don't understand that and don't really think about it, just make sure you enter in this command. It's slash res select vert. And now the selection is expanded from sky to bedrock. So everything above this and everything underneath this is now part of my residence. So nobody can tunnel underneath it except me or except those that I allow to do that. The next command you're going to use is slash res create and then your name. So I'm going to I'm going to go by Jeer's house this time. So now the name is Jeer's house. Whenever you walk into it it says welcome rag guy to Jeer's house. You can configure that command as well. It tells you when you're leaving the area so you can kind of figure it out. And if at any time you're curious about the land that you're on you can always type slash res info to see all the information about it. It tells you the flags and it tells you your flags. So I can use, build, and move around in this area. And right now, build, creeper, use container, TNT, and fire spread are turned off for everyone. Those blue flags are global flags. So those apply to everyone except administrators. So what I want to do though is I want people to be able to use it here. So I'm going to do slash res set use and true. So the res being the residence set uses the flag and true is the state that I want it. <clears throat> okay, so now anybody can come in here, they can open doors, push buttons, open chests, and that sort of thing. Um, at the moment I don't have the the uh, locked buttons, um, 
but I am going to put that on here. Basically, whenever you place a button, it will um, ask you to put in a code. Actually, I think I'm going to go install that real quick. Show that off. And now we're back. Um, I've got the button plugin on. Uh, okay, let me do something real quick. All right. Now then, I will place a button next to my nice steel door. Uh, because the problem with allowing people to use is they can get into your chests or they can get into areas that you might not want them to get into. But you still want them to be able to open doors and things like that. So if you want to have a locked door, you can just put the button down next to your door. In chat it says use slash set code and then code to set the activation code. I will use slash set code. My code is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because I'm a noob like that. Though I recommend you use a better code. The code is saved. So now when you push the button, it says access denied. After you push the button, you can type slash code. Enter the code that you made. Then it will say access granted. I can push the button and be on my way. Now I don't have to enter that every time I use it. I only have to enter it if I go and use another button somewhere else. So if I do that, and then I do slash code, enter in my new code. Even if it's the same code, uh, I'll have to enter it again when I go through the other door. Uh, it's kind of a pain sometimes if you use a lot of codes, but uh, it is quite nice if you just have one or two of these around, or if you want uh, other people to be able to get in. Uh, say, well, say I have my cellar behind here, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. And for the most part, those can those buttons cannot be destroyed. So that's always nice. The only way they can be destroyed is if the owner does it and he has super pickaxe. All admins and premium members have super pickaxe. And that's one hit destroys. Kind of like this. Even on things like adminium or bedrock as some people call it. I'll get out my bedrock here, put out a couple of those. And if super pickaxe is off, I cannot destroy it, but if I turn it on, it's gone in one hit. So that's that. That's how you do use residences. That's how you use um, the coded locks. And uh, if you have any questions, or if you want to look at the command list, you can go to evlgaming.com slash wiki. Uh, I'm going to be adding some more things on there. Right now, just residences and commands are on there. Um, or if you still have problems, you can ask an administrator how to add things. Or you can talk to a premium member. They usually know how to use their commands. They paid for them. They want to, you know, know how to use them to their best. And that's it. Thanks.